Hello, Vibers. Welcome to day 22 of our 30 days of Cat Spirit Animal Wisdom. If you are new here, my name is Sean, and I'm so glad you're joining us. So we've been doing two card pulls recently. This week, we're doing the two card pull as this. First, a card from the Cosmic Cat Wisdom cards, and then a card from my tarot deck to give us clarification so that we can have the most detailed, most precise guidance from the spirit of the cat though i must say i do feel that over the past three weeks has it been three weeks or four weeks so far we have no it hasn't been four weeks but the the past 20 days 22 21 days we've already been getting really uh detailed messages and lots of specificity uh this is just going to clarify it even more for us so let us start with grabbing your first card if you found this uh, card today, the first part of your message is self-confidence, stand your ground. Let me put that so that you can see it. I think you can see it. Self-confidence, stand your ground. And so now I'm going to pull from the Tarot of the Divine to get you some clarification around that. Can we get some more? Oh, okay, wow. Um, this says... Six of Cups. Y'all, this is a uh, very, very clear message that's coming through for you today from the spirit of the cat, and it is this. You're triggered. One or more of you is specifically triggered right now. Um, and for some of the rest of you, it's about when you get triggered, even if you are not triggered right now in this moment. And this triggering is specifically connected to things from your past. I'm getting that you guys have been doing the work. You have done inner work to help heal and or grow from injuries from your childhood. These I do, of course, mean by injuries, I do, of course, mean psychological or emotional injuries more so than I mean physical injuries, uh, though for some of you, they could be tied together, uh, whether it's because of um, psychological or emotional damage that came to you by because of an accident that you had that caused you physical injury or an illness that you had as a child. Uh, so that's physical injury. Or um, for those who have suffered uh, physical abuse, um, that of course also comes with emotional or uh, psychological or and not or emotional and psychological damage so uh, whatever your old injury is this does feel very specifically about childhood injury as opposed to past life injury though for some of you it might resonate as past life that you've been doing the work okay you've done the investigating you've done the healing you've talked to professionals you might be that person who is very attracted to tarot card readings on youtube that are specifically about messages to or from your inner child or messages uh from your deceased parent or your ancestors or a passed on loved one anything like that you're um you're you've been doing the work in some ways passively, like listening to tarot readings or getting tarot readings of your own. You may have been, uh, you may be someone who's gotten a past life reading or a Akashic Records reading. Um, but then I feel that the majority of you who are getting this message right now have also done the actual inner work with a psychologist or a therapist. You've done uh, some of the healing, mo healing modalities that are out there like automatic writing or uh, journal keeping, uh, possibly confronting or speaking to uh, the person who caused you, person or persons who caused you the initial injury. You have done the work. However, here's your however. However, life still lifes, right? Life still does what it does. And when life does what it does, even if we've got the theoretical knowledge about what we've experienced and how it has affected us and how we can uh, deal with it better going forward, or maybe we sometimes we think, oh, I've healed it, so it's not going to be a problem again in the future. Life is not that cut and dry. It's not that neatly packaged. It's not that easy. So we oftentimes, even after having done some healing work, will find ourselves facing the same situation again in another form, sometimes in the exact same form as we had it before. Uh, or we get something that is uh, very similar to it, so it, it's parallel to it, it's the same kind of situation, even if not the same exact situation. And then we get triggered. Um, I see this happen a lot with women. 
I have uh, my client base is mostly female and they are mostly women who might identify as alpha female. They are strong. They are capable. They are smart. And then there is something that happens in their life that makes them revert to childhood. More often than not, it is dealing with a certain kind of man that does this to them. It's a different kind of man for each of them, but it's, you know, there's a kind of man that triggers, say for instance, Mary, and a different kind of man that triggers, say, Jane. I don't know why the hell I went with Mary and Jane. Those are the whitest damn names on the planet. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but anyway, so, and then they are not standing in their power. They are not exercising their self-confidence. They are not implementing the healings and the teachings that they have gathered over time to make them into the strong, beautiful, capable women that they are. They turn into little girls and they start acting out of that woundedness, out of that hurt because they are triggered. So your message from Carrot, Carrot Cat Spirit Animal Wisdom is this. When you are faced with that which feels familiar, do the unfamiliar. Use the new coping skills, the new tools, the new strategies. Okay? Go back to that book. Go back to that therapist. Go back to that friend who knows the thing that you have been working on and can help keep you accountable to you. You can handle it. You don't have to let whatever comes along make you go back to what you used to be. You know, for some of my female clients, it's that uh, getting promoted actually makes them revert to their wounded younger self uh, because of the pressures or the fears or the anxieties around um, moving up to the next level. Okay, you guys, so that is your message for today. Thank you so much for being here. I love connecting with you and I love that you let me be a part of your life. If you would like a personal reading around this or any other topic, I offer those on my website as well as in my Etsy shop. The Etsy shop is notsoaveragedreamer.etsy.com and my website is seanwilson.com. In the meantime, I will see you tomorrow for day 23 of our 30 days of cat spirit animal wisdom.